Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's the only with Thrifty Divas. I'm hot. I'm cranky. Um, I went to Dollar Tree last night, but it stayed in the car. And currently, I'm filming this, you know, the next day after I went. But I'm actually in the process of building the shelf. So I've been working on the shelf all morning and filming that. Um, however, the E6000 needs to cure for 24 hours, so we're at a standstill right now. Um, but as I'm filming this, I'm exhausted, I'm hot, I'm because I've been dealing with that all day um, and getting that filmed for you guys as well. So, again, the magic of the internet, it's like, you know, the timing's all whatever it's going to be, but... You might see the shelf first before this. I don't know. But as I'm filming this, it's going on at the same time. It's currently curing. So let's just jump right in. No rhyme or reason because they're still in the bags before I bring them in the house. Uh, but like I said, I did go last night on my way back from Home Depot to buy stuff for the shelf. So first, I got these sugar skulls, these wooden sugar skulls. Um... It doesn't have a size. I was trying to see if it had a size, but it has these beautifully crafted wooden sugar skulls. So it's got the male one with the little hat, and then it's got the female one with the little rose on her head. Now, Tony from Creative Chica Holes showed these in a haul yesterday, and uh, I said, I had to comment on it. I said, girl, bedazzle the ish out of those around the eyes and stuff. So anyway, I told her, I said, I got entirely too excited, so clearly I need to go buy some for myself. So I think I am going to kind of bedazzle around the eyes, maybe if I can find something small enough around the nose, I don't know. But I'm going to play around with these when I have time. Don't know when it's going to happen, but before Halloween. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be decorating those, and I'm super excited about it. Then I picked up two bags of these penny sticks, honey wheat braided pretzels. Um, they didn't have the Snyders anymore, but my son loves the honey wheat in the Snyders, but I was happy to find them in, in the penny sticks as well. I don't care. So I picked up two bags of these for him. He loves it as a snack, and these are good until December 27th of this year. And it is eight and a half ounces. Then I picked up these thinking I might need them for the shelf but I didn't um, for the stain, but I picked these up because these are not the normal Dollar Tree ones. So I don't, what's the brand? Sureline, S-H-U-R hyphen line uh, out of Mooresville, North Carolina, made, it, uh, made in China. Um, but check these out. I've never seen these before. So it's, it says foam brushes. You get three of them. You get the really wide one. You get the medium one in there. And then you get the little one in there. They feel nicer. The Dollar Tree ones were right next to it and I felt it. These are so smoother. I don't know how to explain it. They're smoother, they're softer. Um, the Dollar Tree ones, the it felt holier, if this makes any sense to you. It felt holier and rougher and stiffer. Or not, just not as, just not, these are like very plush. And so I figured I would give those a try and they are on these nice, wooden handles and there is a plastic bar down there kind of like stopping um the sponge so pick those up thought i might need them for the shelf i didn't but that's okay i will use them for something guaranteed then thanks to pamela from pamela's world um i was excited to find these you get this three pack of bows um to show you how big they are this is my hand um, and I have pretty big hands, so they are really big. So when I had seen her hold them, I saw the gold ones, and I was like, those would be so pretty with Christmas gifts. Now, when I wrap my Christmas gifts, I have a whole collection of different types of ornaments, um, ones that I find at thrift stores and anything, some knit ones, wooden ones, whatever it may be. And then I do buy cheap ones from Dollar Tree as well, like a five pack of like the glitter snowflakes, whatever. Um, but then I always tape them under the bow on the present and everybody loves it. They just love it. They get so excited. So great. Um, but when I saw the gold ones, I was like, those would be awesome for Christmas presents. So I did pick up two packs of the gold ones and they do have the little peel off adhesives on the back as well. So I got two of the gold having Christmas in mind. Then I picked up one of this beautiful, um, 
Tiffany color blue or Robin's egg blue ones in the bows. Um, they all have the silver sparkle in the middle. And then I picked up one in the silver. And then I picked up one in this gorgeous little baby pink. So pretty. So I have bow issues, right? I have like everything issues. Okay. Then I found these gorgeous little corn, these little glass beaded corn. Now they're not perfect. You can see the foam in there in certain spots. And then they have like this raffia top. So I picked up four of them. They were in a box, if you're looking, with like um, plastic squash and things of that nature, gourds and stuff. But they were all mixed through. See, they're falling off anyway. But I thought these were absolutely beautiful for a dollar with these beads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to build my own... Um, what's it called? Um, like Indian corn, you know, kind of. I mean, it's all the same color, unfortunately. They only had this color, but something to this effect to make a little hanging something or other decoration for the door or a wall or something. So that's where my head's at. Again, reality may be different. We shall see. Then I found one lone bottle, one, I guess I was late, of this bubbly, buble, you know the commercials with Michael Buble, anyway, um, and this is in the lime, and they only had one, but I picked it up. Okay, so I picked up one pack of the Biscoff crackers, you get six packs of two cookies individually wrapped in there. Now, um, when we were on vacation, when we went on vacation, we flew Delta. One of the snack options for Delta was cinnamon Biscoff. They had cinnamon and sugar all on the top of them. And I got it and I had, I, my drink was coffee and then I picked this as a snack. Guys, holy cow i was i oh my god i thought they were so amazing and i was thinking oh man dollar tree had those wonder if i could find them and i did find them but i did notice they're not the cinnamon ones you know i was inspecting the top i made sure to look at the ingredients on the ones on the plane so i could recognize it if i found them at dollar tree so they're not the same these are the plain ones but i figured they even though they're not the cinnamon ones, they'll still be great with coffee as a nice little treat. So I did pick it up. Sorry that came with a story, but there's a story. Also, another story. I brought a pack of these on vacation with us. We didn't finish them. We left the rest there. But as we were opening them and eating them, because I'm a nut, I told my husband, I'm like, yo, because there's 12, these yogurt sandwich biscuits, okay? There are 12. 12 individual packs of four cookies in here. Now there's they're pretty small cookies. They're about that big, sandwich cookies. And you get four of them in a little pack and you get 12 of those packs. That's amazing. So they're delicious. And while we were eating them and while I saw like how many you get in here for a dollar and how they're beautifully individually wrapped and all that, my mind starts going, cause I'm a nut. They expire February of 2020 and I was telling my husband, these would be awesome for Halloween candy to give out at Halloween. I've been collecting Halloween candy since like May. As long as the expiration dates are good, whatever. So that's why I got them. And I told them, hopefully I can find them at Dollar Tree again. And I did, found them last night. So I picked up two packs to give out for Halloween in addition to other things. But you cannot beat this price. I don't think so anyway, 12 packs of cookies. I've given out you know the they have um, packs of Oreos that you get four packs of two cookies in there for a dollar? I've bought those before for Halloween. Kids loved it, they were excited to get them, but you're only getting four packs. Granted, it's not Oreos, but you're getting 12 packs in here for a dollar. I'll stop rambling now. Then, I found these. I have never seen these before. I don't know if they're new or I don't know if I just wasn't paying attention, which happens a lot to me in case you haven't noticed. Look at these three-dimensional pumpkin wreath forms. 
I thought these were awesome. Again, they're new to me, but I might have just not been paying attention. So I got two of them because I want to fill them out. I thought it'd be really cute on a wall or a door. Uh, they're really big, so I don't know if it'll fit on a door, but I just thought they were really cool. Sorry for bending. And for those, I got three more of the orange deco mesh, and then I got two of that brown that I like. So I'm going to try to maybe see if I could do the brown as like separations in here or something somewhere. Got to try to work it out. I want it to be orange, but I want to try to do some brown separations if that works. And then it also gave me a reason to buy another roll of my green that I like for the stems up on top. So we'll see how it goes, but I'll give those a try closer to the fall. And I'll film it for you. Okay, then I don't know why I looked high and low for an expiration date and I cannot. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, July 18th, 2019. Whatever. I'll eat them soon. Uh, I swear to God, I looked everywhere in the store. Anyway, they had this Michelina chicken fried rice two for a dollar so I got four because um, I figure I'll do two at a time for side dishes with a protein the same way I do the orange eat burrito bowls um, for my husband and myself my son would probably love this too I'll make sure they've been in the freezer it's okay it'll go longer than the expiration date but I'll make sure to make those quick now that I finally found it after I bought them so two for a dollar bought four then the store I went to last night had the other scent of these, so I was able to find it and I did pick up uh, two packs now of the Cool Water Lily hmm. Secret Body Cleansing Wipes. 15 count, picked up two of those. So now I have the, I can't remember what the other one was, but now I have both. Now I have two of each. And then I also went and picked up two boxes of the dye in the medium brown which is what i have in my hair right now even though i'm like sweaty and gross um just so i have it on hand next time i want to do it and next time the kardashian patch shows up which it looks like it's trying to break through now oh then i also bought this tiny little miniature hacksaw which i thought was adorable to six inch hacksaw um, probably single use this blade will probably snap i'm thinking but for a dollar it is worth it um, can't even buy a blade for a dollar usually so I thought I might need this for my shelf again but I did not um, I opted not to cut anything down so but now we have one then I bought um, two boxes of these so these are two masks in each box again I always pick them up when I find the two per box anywhere because I want to split them apart and use them in future giveaways so I got one this is global beauty um, so I think, I don't see made in China anywhere on this, but I feel like it has to be, but maybe it's not. It says Global Beauty, it says distributed by Global Beauty Care New York, New York, but I don't see where it's made. I, I really don't. Um, anyway, so I got two, well, one box of the retinol and one box of the collagen to break up and put Oh, it's made in China. I see it now. There it is. It's on the on the actual mask. It is made in China. But those will show up. Oh, look, I dropped something. Those will show up in future giveaways as well. Then I picked up three more packs of the glitter bath bombs because I like using them in my pedicures. I'll enter, I'll insert a whole bunch of pictures here. So I like using them in my pedicure buckets because it makes me feel special. I started a big vase in one of my bathrooms filled with what I had so far, which was about three bags. Um, and it's really empty. So I want to empty these in there and then add them to fill the jar more so that it looks nicer and that I have a nice supply while I can find them. Then I also saw Pamela from Pamela's World haul these. These are the Lip Gloss Surprise by Yo-Yo World. 
Um, so these are the blind bags and it does say collect all five and they do have them not blind and it's the same size. They're both uh, 0.21 ounces. So I figure go blind bag, go fun. Um, but if you don't want to be blind, they have them available for you so you can see what you're buying. But I just thought this would be cute to add with gifts for Christmas or birthdays, even for adults, because everybody likes lip gloss. Well, not everybody, but most people like lip gloss. You don't have to be a kid. So I just picked up two of those. All right. Then I just bought a box of these Scotties because I thought this was pretty. I picked up, I saw Pamela from Pamela's World haul this too and my jaw dropped. I was so happy to find them. Trident, original flavor. This is like the car cup, you know, the big cup. 50 pieces, a dollar. What? That's insanity. So I did buy six of these because I wanted to have a nice full supply of them. Um, they do expire October. Well, it says best before October 31st, 2019. There's only a few months left on those, but we know it'll go longer, but that's why they're a dollar tree. Okay. And then I got a three pack of these buckets, these black little buckets with the handles. I thought it was great. Bonus buy three for a dollar. Can't beat it. Um, if you watched my holler haul, you saw that I picked up some of the juicy stuff the Juicy Couture body wash, shampoo, and conditioner. And I said I was going to put a poof in there, probably one of the black ones, um, and make little bundles for presents. So I thought this would be cute for that. So put some pretty, like, pink, pink um, paper grass, you know, like the paper one, um, in the bottom there. And then put the three things with the black poof and then wrap it up all pretty. So that's what I got those for. All right, last couple things. Picked up this little tiny Thousand Island dressing. I hate Thousand Island dressing unless it's on a Reuben word. Um, but my husband likes it. So I just got him one because we were out. Then I went to Aldi afterward and I got a bigger one. Anyway, for cheaper. And the very last thing in this haul, according to my calculations, are these. They had these three packs of TG. TGI Fridays potato skins in the cheddar and bacon. So you get three bags of that for a dollar and they're one ounce bags. So I did pick up two of those because I thought that was cool and my husband is a huge snack. So, um, all right, so that's it for my haul, guys. Um, until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you and I'll see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching.